When you finish your third regular season, you can get that second contract. It hasn't happened yet. We don't know when it's going to happen. Mahomes keeps saying things that suggest he's going to do team-friendly deals. Most recently, according to Yahoo Sports, obviously I want to get a contract. Obviously I want to provide for my family for a long time and do everything like that. But I want to make sure I do it the smart way and do it the right way. So I don't know exactly which way that is yet. I know that my people and the Chiefs people will talk about it. We'll do it at the right time and for the betterment of the team. I'm excited to be a Chief for a very long time. I know that's going to be handled the right way because of the people the Chiefs have in their organization. I mean, look, the bottom line is... There's two different kinds of players, and there is a a spectrum. But at one end, you've got the guy that says, it's your job to manage the salary cap. It's my job to make as much money as I can. At the other end is the guy who will consciously take less, uh, trusting that the team will put great players around him. Uh, And it's each guy's prerogative, Big Cat, but I'm a firm believer of getting paid what you can while you can. There's enough money to go around, and they'll figure out how to put a team around him. The draft allows them to add cheap guys whenever they want, and uh, they get to add six or seven cheap guys every year. Uh, I'm not a big fan of saying of saying all these things that suggest he's going to do a team-friendly deal. So what you said to start that statement is the most important part of this. It's not that Patrick Mahomes is saying, I'll take less. It's that he is implying that he trusts the organization to use that extra money wisely. And I think that's the crucial part here, because I agree with you that most of the time I am not in favor of anyone taking less money than what they deserve. But if Patrick Mahomes trusts that the Kansas City Chiefs will make his job a lot easier, there is a you know balance that can be had here where he says to himself, would I rather be in the Super Bowl every year knowing that they will make the right decisions and spend the money the right way to make my job easier to make, you know, to, to basically bring the best Patrick Mahomes out? Or will they, you know, ca- take that money, save it, punt it down downfield and be like, well, we'll just figure it out later and basically get those like the, the, the alternate is Patrick Mahomes being so good that he can carry your franchise to the playoffs every year, knowing that you don't have to spend money in other places. That's really what it comes down to. Best solution continues to be something I've suggested in the past. It's something that Darrell Rivas tried to get a decade ago. The Jets didn't want to do it. Kirk Cousins has tried to get it. The Washington franchise and then the Vikings didn't want to do it. I think the NFL doesn't want the teams to do it. But the right way to go, if you're Patrick Mahomes, you, you, you have this conversation one time and you're set for your career. You, you enter into a business partnership with the Chiefs and you agree on what percentage of the salary cap you will get. Period. Yep. That's it. Every It's 15%, 18%, 16.3%, whatever it is. That's what I get. That's what I mean to the team. It's a fair compromise. And then the remaining percentage is always available for the rest of the team, and you have faith that they're going to put the team around him. That's what they need to do. That's what they should do. Um, And that prevents a situation where a guy is getting woefully underpaid, and, uh, and, and also it just puts it in the terms that you've put it in. It's a cooperation. It's a partnership. And it's certainty for the Chiefs. Although the number is going to change, they're going to know what percentage of the cap Patrick Mahomes is always going to consume every year of his career. Mike, you don't make a lot of good points on this show. Oftentimes, you sound Can't crazy. Can't you just compliment me? <laughs> Can't. Why does it have to be conditional? Let me Can't finish. you just say that Mike, that's brilliance? Mike, oftentimes you have nonsensical points that make no sense. <laughs> that's that's re- redundant there by me, but that doesn't matter. You are uh, someone that people watch probably because they hate more than they like. But in this case, your point is great. And it's a great one. And I totally agree with you. You have, like, it makes so much sense to do what you're saying. I almost want you to be the next commissioner of the NFL. Let's get it going. No, thank you. No, thank you. You Uh, wouldn't take that job? No. Maybe. 40 mil? You know, I stopped. Yeah, it's probably more than that now. Um, yeah. For for most for most of the jobs, I wouldn't do it. It's not worth it. For that one, for the money involved. Now, you, you look. You, you got you, you have to herd thirty two cats all the time, and you you are the person who gets blamed for everything they do or want to do. But for that much money, th- there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that you can that you can put up with. Uh, I put up with a lot of stuff for far less money now, including you once a week. See, that's the pro- when you're listing the pros and cons. Commissioner of the NFL, 
you don't have to put up with Big Cat once a week. That's in the pros. That's near the top. That may be almost as high on the list as the money. Okay, I'll throw this out there then. Uh, you're commissioner of the NFL. You get paid $100 million a year, but I'm vice commissioner of the NFL, and we work hand-in-hand hand every single day. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.